Sick. CNN posts photo of Manafort's $15,000 ostrich coat mocks him for spending money on ugly coat. By Christina Layla for the GatewayPundit.com. This is why no one trusts CNN. I would say and likes CNN. They are mocking a man who is facing 305 years in prison because the deep state wants to punish him. CNN posted a photo of Paul Manafort's $15,000 ostrich coat Wednesday evening and criticized the former Trump advisor for spending a lot of money on the ugliest coat they've ever seen. Aaron Burnett giggled as CNN featured the coat and said, this is what a $15,000 ostrich coat can get you, uh, Gloria. This has got to be one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. CNN's Gloria Borger uh, re responded by saying she wouldn't buy it for her hubby and that the price is high. Well, as if anybody really cared, but according to who? CNN and Mueller's thugs? <laughs> yep. What the hell does an ostrich coat have to do with Trump colluding with the Russians during the 2016 election? Gloria Borger uh, then went on to mock Manafort for spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on custom suits, which is, of course, completely normal for a wealthy businessman to do, but CNN thinks it's somehow unusual and suspect. Yeah, according to their communist ways, yeah. Then Gloria Borger got petty and said she never thought Manafort's suits looked great, and who cares about her opinion, but let's move on. I saw Paul Manafort at the convention, and I never noticed how great his suits were, just saying, Gloria Borger said with a smug look on her face. This is CNN. Paul Manafort was thrown into solitary confinement awaiting his trial for alleged crimes that have nothing whatsoever to do with Russian collusion and CNN is shaming Manafort for spending money on suits. Judge Ellis even ripped into Mueller's hacks for uh, droning on and on about Manafort's lavish lifestyle. Uh, it isn't a crime to have money and be a pro, uh, be profligate with your spending, Judge Ellis said to uh, Mueller's hack lawyers, uh, Sony or whatever. Uh, the CNN here, to demonstrate Paul Manafort's elaborate spending habits, prosecutors released an image of a $15,000 coat made from an ostrich. Yeah, all riveting news, because they have nothing else. This is what a $15,000 ostrich coat can get you. Gloria, this might be one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm that not so sure I would buy it either, Aaron. Everybody. <laughs> would you buy that? Would you buy that for your hubby? I don't think so, but no, certainly the price. price. The, the, <laughs> not even on sale, okay? But, but the, I think the price is high. This is what we call reporting on a trial where somebody's facing 305 years in prison and they're laughing, but I don't find it funny in the least. I mean, what is going on here? This is what they have, and they're laughing amongst each other and it, it's even uh, so fake. I think what the judge is trying to say is, okay, stop gilding the lily here. We get it. We get that he had an extravagant lifestyle. We see this coat which he decided to spend $15,000 on, and maybe it looked really good on Paul Manafort, who knows, uh, but, but I think what the judge is saying, all right, move along here, because you know this judge is infamous for getting these trials done pretty quickly. He said you have three weeks. Some people say it'll take two. Yeah. And, you know, he's saying, okay, we get it. We get that he bought the Mercedes. We get that he did this extravagant outdoor garden. Uh, with built-in barbecue, blah, blah, blah. We get that he bought these clothes for over $400,000. Um, you know, I saw Paul Manafort at the convention, for example. I never noticed how great his suits were. Just no, so. no, they were, they, were, <laughs> they were suits. They fit well. No, I, they uh, John were. D., do the pictures matter? When we see things like the ostrich coat, what does that mean to the jury? 
Well, they can have an impression on the jury that their pictures always help. Uh, it's going to even get more complex when they start introducing all these documents. Uh, those can get very, very dull for the for the jury, and they want to, They really want to keep the jury engaged in the case. And uh, pictures help, charts help, uh, particularly with a heavily documented case like this one. I, this is like the ugliest jackets. <laughs> Ever seen. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm just saying this is the first time anyone I've seen these. Okay, these are the exhibits. They're literally just coming out right now. You know, this is this is this shows you just how deranged, deranged these people are. I mean, uh, there's nothing to say after this. You know, there's nothing to say. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.